getting ready to head down to Harris Chain. I have to leave a few days early, actually about five or six days early, because we have to go, I have to go work. We are on our way to the Harris Chain for the second event for the MLF Tackle Warehouse Circuit. So on the way there, I had to make a little pit stop to do stuff that we all love, and that's work for our sponsors at the booth. So we're at the Bassmaster Classic in South Carolina, Lake Hartwell. This is they ship in into the convention center here at Greenville. Now do you see what I'm talking about? Hey Chad. Is this the tour light? It is. It's gonna be. Look right next door. This is our favorite boat company. Do it every year. Well, last year I didn't do it because of COVID and all that other stuff. But uh, it's just one of those things. I got St. Croix. Have to work the booth there. Blackfish, uh, Vexus, Mercury, Garmin, Powerpole. All these, you know, great companies that support what I do. You know, I try to be there to support them. From there, uh, after three days of that, head down to uh, Harris Chain down to Florida. Well, we made it back from the Classic. Got into Florida about two days early, so I need some braid. And guess who lives in Florida? The one and only Bobby Lane, Mr. Mr. Spider Wire. Looks like you got her all organized here. Got to get organized. <laughs> hey, the baby looks a little different. A little different wrap this year, huh? Yeah, I like it. Done it. Looks really good. I'll have to regret it. It's like when you saw me at the Potomac. That's not Chad. That, that's not the blackfish one. Because yeah. I had my boat turned around, so now i got to remember you're not yellow anymore. You're blackfish again? Yeah, blackfish and then all terrain on the other side. Now look at this baby I'm fixing to oh, put in. Oh, yeah. Do you have a battery tray big enough for that thing? Well, I'm taking those out and I'm... Putting all one together? I'm hoping it fits. You have to go this way and then... I'm going to go that well. That's why you guys are here. Oh, all right. Well, let's get into it. Got his pine tree. Probably old Christmas tree. Let's see if he's got a friend right here. There's usually bass in that live right there. Not right now. <coughs> All right, what do we got here? Tighten my sleeves. Yeah. I tighten my sleeves. I picked up. and going. We're on a rain delay. They just put the tarp over the field. Didn't do so hot, so we came up to 
Eustis, caught a few. Now we're in Big Harris, had quite a few bites, so we're just gonna stay on this little program we got going here. We still got another whole day. Not a lot going on, but enough to keep me interested. You ready? Yep. You ready? Yeah. Should I go? You can go whenever. Okay. So now it's good? Uh, I mean, I, I think so. They're moving up. Right. Day two practice starting. We uh, seen a little bit of everything yesterday. We had uh, started out with a north wind, then it was a east wind, then it was a south wind, then it was back to a north wind, then we had a west wind, rain morning, we had a little sunshine in the midday, and then it just, we saw everything. Fishing wasn't that great. You know, it's post-spawn, and I don't know, we are got, you know, one, one more full day, so we're going to see what we can figure out today, maybe. Uh, Bobby said there's a little bit of a shad spawn going on, so we're going to see if we can find some of that. At least locate where the fish are, because first day of the tournament, it's probably not going to be much of a shad spawn at 36 degrees. But we'll know where they live, and we might be able to flip a few up. So we're going to put a good day in today and see what happens. Making a mess. I saved his life. I didn't catch a bias till two o'clock yesterday. Now I talked to Bobby. He said he said he had 16 or 17 pounds first thing, and then he uh, didn't catch much after that. And that was shallow in the grass. That's that's the same, same way it was to me this morning. So day two's over. Uh, that's all we get. So we hit Griffin. We hit Eustis. We hit. Harris, we hit Little Harris, we hit a Popka. It's kind of hard to fish them all, you know, really effectively, but I don't know. We got a little game plan going. I mean, look at Texas. We we uh, caught one the last second day of practice and still did all right. So we got a few areas we're getting some good bites. So we're gonna find out on Sunday when the first day of the tournament starts on Sunday this week. So uh, stay tuned. Second term in a row that I have a flat tire. Let's see the culprit right here. So, here. well, you can see how the last time I used it, even the Ziploc bag is not looking real good. So, let me see if we can get an air compressor here. Good times. But I saw it. There goes that. Uh, <laughs> so get here. Oh, here. Won't go sleepy up from his nap. This might be an easy fix. If he's got an air compressor. I was going to take it to town and do it, and then I realized I had my patch kit. If I can get this air compressor, we're all set. We'll just put a plug in it, fill it up with air, and
Grove, Minnesota. He's also got five in the back. And Florida treated you to 11 pounds, eight ounces here on day one. Great big. Go on, I've seen worse. Caught another one, little one. Yeah. You know, 12, 13 inches. And then I had three flipped up three, flipped up two, and then right at the end, I caught one more, like three pounds. Here we are, day two takeoff. Uh, day one, not real great. Obviously, I'm in, I think, 96th or something like that. But even, <clears throat> even 96, it's still. I ended up catching my two at the end of the day that, that sa obviously saved the whole tournament. So now we actually have a chance versus coming in with three, you can't make up those two, you know, they don't let you bring in seven. So we can only bring in five. So I got my five, they weighed 11 and a half. Today we're gonna need 13, 14, probably 15 to make the cut. So it's, it's very doable here. It's not that big a deal. We just gotta keep our head down. I gotta not run around as much. And I was just trying to make stuff happen yesterday and that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and it didn't really work out. So today we're just going to kind of, well, we'll see how the day goes because I may still bop around a little bit, but I'm going to stay more in Big Harris. May go to Eustis, uh, which is only you know, 15 minutes out of the way. So just, uh, we're just going to keep our head down and grind it out and see if we can uh, pull out 15, maybe 16 pounds. I don't know. Time for one more, right? Grigsby, 11-8 on day one. Grigsby's got him a big limit of bass on day two. There's five in there. Yeah, there's five. I tell you what, 
I never really figured them out, uh, but I was getting a couple big bites every day, and I had a big one today and lost it. And that's the difference. Oh, you gotta catch that big one. Gotta have them, man. Seven pounds, seven ounces, man. Thank you, sir. It wasn't good enough to do anything, but I did get my limit in there, but it just kind of was like, man, if I would have just figured this out at like 10 o'clock versus two o'clock, it would have been, you know, maybe a little different, but I didn't, and that's where we ended up, and I, I just didn't, what happened was I thought about it too much. I thought about, well, they're already done spawning. Well, there was another wave that came in. Well, there's a cold front, so they're not gonna be spawning. Well, they were spawning. So, it's just one of those things you just need to fish, and let the fish tell you what to do versus you're telling yourself what the fish should be doing because that's where you get messed up every time. If you think you know what they're doing and you don't check what they could be doing, then you miss out on what they actually are doing. So a little uh, tip out there for you kids. Uh, don't think too much when you're fishing because it never does you any good. You need to f let the fish tell you what they're doing. So anyway, we cut out of there, horrible place, but we're still, uh, we had a good first tournament and we didn't fall that bad in the points. So still got four to go. We're, uh, we're gonna go to uh, Tennessee River next. Should be good at Pickwick. We'll see uh, in a couple weeks, we'll be back down there and see how we can do there. But this is the tour of life. It was not what we put in for. We thought we were gonna do pretty good down there, but. I guess we're just going to find out at Pickwick how good we're going to do.